Hello, welcome to another Project Zombie Apocalypse video. So, the uh, last video, we spent like uh, quite a long time just going through, just uh, ripping up clothes, because uh, actually, that seems, uh, to be, seems to be a good thing to do. And it, and it seems uh, it was a good idea for us to actually go through and drop uh, all that loot on the ground for later. Because uh, now we can actually just go through and we can just uh, stand in these streets. We were sitting in this street like all day, there wasn't even any zombies. Because for some reason, how much we complain that there's so many zombies at the gas station? There's like a, no zombies down here at all. We were just literally there all day just ripping up clothing in the street. And it's also helping uh, clean up the street so it's uh, a lot less leggy here. Because with, uh, with us uh, ripping up all his clothing, we, we could uh, go somewhere in the street and then rip clothing. And it'd be like, uh, rip 37, rip 22, rip 17. So every time we do that, that removes like, uh, 37 items from the ground. Like, uh, 22, like, 17 items from the ground. And it's like, uh, 90% less, uh, inventory space to carry the, uh, rip, rip sheets compared to everything else here. So if we do that a little bit. Uh, we got our water bottle set up, and we're just out, uh, two spears again. So we're thinking of like uh, sw switching from spirits to something else. Like, oh, oh, we got our food here, so we got everything ready to uh, go last time. And uh, maybe we should go start looking for the tailored scumbucks here. Like, uh, tailored four and uh, tailored five. And we uh, did start organizing our uh, warehouse a little bit. So let's actually check these generators. We did go to the gas station and secure the gas station again. 50% fuel. Alright, so something I think we're going to do is just uh, refuel these uh, generators here. And then over in the warehouse, maybe we should actually go through, like, uh, pick up some more of these crates and then rearrange them some more here. Oh, we're, we're not even going to be able to see too much in here, are we? <clears throat> yeah, it's going to be really dark. Maybe we should eventually get a uh, generator set up in here so we can see. So I guess we'll come here later, because at the uh, moment, we can't really show you anything. But I guess, I guess here's the uh, gas cat, right? Let, let's grab these gas cats. Bring them to the generator. Uh, refuel the generators. Uh, then we have a whole bunch of fuel saved up. If we need fuel, I guess we just have to search for a bunch of gas cats and then go collect them. Cause we, I guess we don't have too many, right? We only have like uh, seven gas cats here for some reason. Alright, so this one just had a uh, 72%. Which makes sense, because this one just powers the, uh... Just, just the, uh, popsicle fridges, that's it, right? This one powers the, uh, popsicle fridge, plus the, uh, fridge. So, we got both of these, uh, generators fueled up here. Then we got the gas cats over here for you to fuel those up. We need to see if we can find some more spears, because we're all out again. Because cause we get leave with, like, uh, five or six spears, then we use all of them. So we have two equipped, then we got five spears here in the bag again. And then uh, just in case these break, like we do have a backup crowbar here. Just in case we like uh, run out of spears, we have a crowbar here. Then a hammer on the belt, then a backup hammer in the uh, bag over here. Uh, so I guess what we're going to do is, since we can't like, uh, see too much here, we'll probably come back here later. We started like putting our uh, sneakers and everything from the uh, crates back there to the shoes because the the shoes the shoes are probably like the uh, most useless things I've been picking up. But this thing should be empty, right? We just finished uh, emptying it. So if we go here, equip this again. Ah, uh, we should be getting that out here. So there's not so many zombies for some reason. Like we always, like, like we always say, right? We complain about there being so many zombies at the uh, gas station. It's never ending for some reason. But for some reason, it finally ended. Like there, there hasn't been barely any zombies anywhere. We were taking the main road. Well, no, let's not go this way. Because I know if you go this way, you have to be, uh, take like that back road. And then there's the pylons in the way that we didn't clean up yet. So th this is the quicker, faster way. And I wonder if, like, uh, all the way to the gas station, maybe we'll actually clear the zombies out the way to the gas station over here. Yeah, actually, there's, like, uh, five of them here. Or someone come behind us, too, here. <clears throat> so I think all the way to the gas station, we'll probably clear the zombies on the way. Uh, if there's, like, uh, n nothing interesting to loot here, we probably won't loot it. 
Alright, so I think what we're gonna do is just uh, clip the streets around this area. Like, maybe go through, clip all these clothes here. Maybe go through, clean up all these clothes here. So we might clean it up. We just uh, go through and then uh, rip all these things that we don't think they were gonna need. Yeah, pretty much most of this stuff here, right? Ah, uh, that'll be uh, cleaning up the street. Give us some uh, Taylor and EXP. Give us some Taylor materials. And if we ever find the uh, Taylor scout books, then we won't have to worry about uh, searching for clothes or anything from zombies. And then it'll pretty much just be uh, killing zombies. And uh, yeah, the only thing that we're looting is just like any electronics that we can uh, dismantle pretty much. Or something that might like be a weapon. Or maybe a magazine or a pen or something. Something that's uh, more useful than just uh, shoes and sneakers and accessories. Then I wonder if we should actually be making some uh, sheet ropes too here, right? So like uh, all these clothes here, if we uh, right click, we could rip the clothing or craft a sheet rope. Which we uh, use these? Oh, there's like a white, white jacket. I don't think we have a white jacket. Oh no, that, it just shows up that color. Okay. So we go craft sheet rope. We, we can actually use these for making uh, exits out the windows, I think. But more importantly, I think it's for like uh, tying up logs. So if we want to cut a whole bunch of logs, then transport a whole bunch of logs. Then we can create a bunch of sheet ropes. Oh, it's log quicker too, right? It doesn't take as long, but but it doesn't re reduce the uh, inventory as much because it's pretty much like the entire entire piece there. Yeah, so th these things weigh a lot. Or these things definitely weigh a lot. Or ah, uh, but but they're definitely useful for other things. So that's what we're gonna do is uh, may maybe we'll make some sheet ropes. M maybe not. Yeah, they, they weigh so much. The sheet ropes weigh so much. So if we all that other sheet ropes, like, uh, maybe we'll make, like, 15 or something if we need more of them. But if we, uh, r rip up the clothing, it reduces the weight of its by a whole lot more, I think. <clears throat> so what if we do that, right? We'll, we'll just sit here and just keep ri ripping them up for now. Just we have uh, so much clothing here. Or I guess if we make like a 13 sheep rope, it, it would do it really quick, right? I don't know. I, I guess we probably need a whole bunch of sheet rope. Maybe, maybe we'll just do like a, this inventory sheet rope or something. It's, it, it weighs so much. It's got like 28 of them. Yeah, the vehicle's like just about filled up already, just cause the uh, just cause the just cause the sheet ropes. Um, yeah, so we're gonna clean this up, right? We we just came back just to say that we uh, might be making some uh, sheet ropes. We might be need, need some uh, sheet ropes to do something in the, in the uh, near future here. Alright, so we got a uh, full inventory. So what we're gonna do is just uh, head back here. Well, I guess we gotta fill fill up the uh, bag actually. We fill up the uh, vehicle. Uh, we did fill the bag here. As soon as we go through, just to loot all these things that we couldn't rip up here. Just because they're literally the ground here at the moment. Then before uh, all the zombies show up here. Maybe we'll try to uh, ri ri rip up some clothes depending on, depending on what the situation looks like. And yeah, for some reason there hasn't been a whole bunch of zombies like there usually is. Uh, so we decided to uh, pick us up these crates here by the door. This to give us access to the, these crates over here. So we have to go over here and then pick up this one. Oh, yeah, we also wanted to uh, be able to place some other crates over back here so we can uh, organize these things some more. So like our shoes and our sneakers. And then uh, maybe we can start putting like uh, accessories and then, like uh, underwear and everything. And then all of our different other clothes. Yeah, eventually we can get our uh, clothes collection here. All we have to do is just get all these uh, crates set up. 
and then when we're, when we're going out like uh, searching for clothes or anything, we'll pretty much know like uh, what what type of clothes we need to get. We're 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 actually just trying to find something to do here, just because it's already like a uh, eighteen o'clock, so there's uh, no reason to really go out. Cause it's just gonna get a uh, dark pretty soon, and their character's gonna get tired here. So we uh, might as well do some more uh, organizing here at the uh, base, and these uh, crates more organized. All right, so I think they were ahead of bed soon, so we'll probably end the video. But we like uh, reorganize this thing. And we went to loot a whole bunch more at the uh, gas station, so we cleaned up the ground over there a bit. So over here, we have some uh, sheet ropes, just in case we need them for something. And then over here, we have an empty crate. And over here, we have like uh, all of our sneakers and boots down here. So like uh, three crates for sneakers and boots. And then we got a crate for underwear over here. So we got two crates for underwear. And then we got crates for accessories over here. So for like the like the rigs and the uh, what is that a watch? The rigs, the watch, pretty much like all the jewelry. That's what it's all the uh, jewelry that you can put on. Then also these uh, digital watches here, and I guess uh, glasses, and I think there's like a helmet, these uh, tights. So pretty much all the accessories over here. Uh, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So we cleaned this place up a bit. I think we picked up some more crates that we uh, put them all up here, so we have more room up here. And we're thinking if we get a, a generator, then maybe we can set a, a generator up here. Then we'd actually be able to see in the dark. See so if this uh, vehicle is empty at the moment. We don't really feel like uh, going out at the moment. But we did make a lot of progress since the uh, last recording here. And eventually we should have us uh, organized. So we're pretty much been like uh, going through all these crates. We got all the accessories out. Then we go through these crates. Then we got all the all the uh, boots and stuff out. So I guess uh, oh yeah, then all the uh, underwear. Then I guess the next thing we could uh, maybe search for like uh, shirts and pants or something. Then all the stuff that isn't clothing related. They'll be able to see like uh, all different types of uh, clothes that we have that we can wear. Interesting. We can, uh, like uh, crate for weapons and then uh, all the other different things like the uh, maps. Oh, all the different appearance things. And just eventually organize all the stuff here. Then figure out what we uh, need.